Here are the ingredients that you will need to make the chocolate mousse. We got one package of the Ghirardelli dark uh, bittersweet chocolates. I believe that's uh, about 12 ounces, 11.5 ounces. A little bit of vanilla extract. You need Cool Whip. We have the Cool Whip Light. And finally, the Tofu. This is the brand of tofu that we have. It has to be soft yeah, tofu. Soft tofu. Silken. Silken. This is uh, one pound of soft tofu. And the first step you're going to do is to get a double boiler and boil uh, the chocolate, melt the chocolate over the heat, stirring occasionally. And the chocolate is just about completely melted. And we're almost good to go to the next step. Once this is complete, we're going to take it off the heat and we're just going to let it sit uh, because we don't want the real hot chocolate to be mixed in uh, with the other ingredients while we're doing that. So we're shutting the heat off. We're going to take it off and let it cool down a little bit over there. Okay, now we're going to uh, add the tofu. So just slice the edges. There's going to be a little bit of water in the tofu, so we have to be uh, opening that over the sink. Drain that out. And we'll add that into our mixing bowl. Okay, we're going to put it in our mixer. We're going to use the whipper uh, attachment, the whip attachment, and we're just going to mix it up uh, it's until good. it's uh, nice and creamy. And while you're making uh, the chocolate mousse, it's always good to have your chocolate dog very close by so you can't get close to where you're working. That always helps you stretch your back muscles. Right, Walter? Well, we want it to cool a little bit more before we add that in to our mixture. And then we're going to add a, a, a teaspoon. teaspoon of vanilla extract. And uh, we'll mix that up. And then we'll leave the mixture, uh, we'll leave the mixer and we'll add in the Cool Whip. We'll actually fold that in so we want it to stay fluffy. Okay, you know, the, the chocolate is still a little warm so don't worry about that. Just uh, pour it on into the, uh, to the soy or the tofu, whatever you want to call it. Just uh, use a spatula, get it all in there. And now we're ready to mix this up. After using the spatula to get all the chocolate in there, feel free mm. to clean the spatula. Mm. So we're going to blend here. We're going to mix this for a little bit, just to mix that up. Clean spatula. Use another clean spatula. You could have used the same one if someone didn't lick it. And uh, it's on low. And now we add just a, as you can see, a carefully measured little little bit of vanilla extract. <laughs> really, that's only supposed to be a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Teaspoon. Not that you know the difference when you pour it in like that. Yeah, a, a splash. A splash. Right, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to add the Cool Whip now. Uh, we have a 16 ounce large uh, container of Cool Whip. We don't necessarily need all of that, so... We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks and uh, add it accordingly. I think we got about three quarters of it in there now. And just kind of layer it in there. Gently fold. Just fold it in. Oh, it looks good. We're getting close. You keep mixing it really until you can get rid of the, the streaks in it. It's all the cool chocolate. Whip, so it all looks chocolatey. As you can see, it's getting darker and darker as we kind of mix it up here with a, with a spoon. Okay, and uh, we put it in a container that's going to go in the refrigerator and just chill before serving. And there you go. This is uh, can be topped with, uh, put it in a little, uh, a little serving dish uh, and top it with small chocolate sprinkles or 
nuts. Nuts, walnuts, almonds, whatever you'd like. Or just eat it plain. There you go. By the way, this was recommended uh, from a dietitian at the hospital. It's very good for you. Very good.